Good morning, everybody. In case you're wondering about my face, I um, don't have anything on. I did my eyebrows and my skincare routine. Um, in today's video, we're going to do a get ready with me. I have some time this morning after my debacle this morning, but I have some time. I figured we'd do a sit down, get ready with me and um, trying to work with my settings to see how, how I can do a little bit better. I'm trying to make sure that the, the mirror in the background isn't in the frame. So kind of sitting catty corner, but I'm trying to make it work. So you'll have to pardon me for the next couple of videos if they're a little or not the best quality. I'm still working with that. So in today's video, I'm actually going to use the Pat McGrath palette. Um, I haven't used this yet, so I'm really excited to play with it. God, I have such a hard time opening this. I'm staying in on this side today. So I haven't decided exactly what I'm gonna do, but I'm sure it will turn out. Okay, so my tape. Oh, got my tape. Oh, you know what? I didn't put anything on my face yet, so I need to put on eyeshadow primer. Just going in with my Urban Decay. And then I'm just going to go in with my P82 to blend it out. From Sigma. So I'm hoping this angle will work for my, my camera, trying to get in a little bit closer. I noticed uh, when I was editing my videos, I have a couple that I did that I'm pretty far away and my head's bending down a lot. So I wanted to get closer to see if maybe I can stop from doing the head bob. Now we're going with my teeth. All right, so I'm gonna start off with that, um, this light pink right here. And then I'm just gonna go in with my E38 from Sigma. One thing I noticed about going in with a different formula is even though my technique is usually the same, no matter what eyeshadow I'm using, it always places differently or blends out differently. Okay, now I'm going to take my E40 and I'm just going to blend out the edges. It's really funny using a, a new formula when you're not used to it. Like I know how to work with the Natasha Denona, my Sydney Grace. I don't know if you guys can hear the door slamming in the background. Uh, all the kids have their windows open. And uh, when there's a breeze going through the, the house, the bathroom windows open too. So I guess when the breeze comes, the doors <laughs> kind of shut, shut, the doors open and shut. They kind of slightly bang. Tell you what, the first year we moved into this house kind of freaked me out. I wasn't sure what it was. There we go. Got a nice little blend at the top. I'll make it a little bit deeper. I'm gonna go back and use my um, E45. I'm gonna go back in with my E45. Pick some up. I'm gonna go closer to my crease just to darken it up a little bit. Just using the windshield wiper motion back and forth. Good. And I'm actually going to use my Sydney Grace. I want to use the color Drift to kind of blend in the top part. So I'm just going to use, oh, it's a washout. Drift. Drift has a, a little bit of pink undertone to it. 
All right, now I'm gonna use that E38 from Sigma and the color Drift from Sydney Grace. And I'm just gonna blend out the edges. And I'm just bringing that all the way up to my eyebrow. Yeah, just like that. I think that just softens the look a little bit. Perfect. I want to use this terracotta shade right here. I'm going to put that in the outer V. I'm going to go in with my E27. It's kind of like a flat but rounded top. It's perfect to get underneath the, the folds in my eyelid. Ooh, that looks really red. All right, here we go. Just wipe off any excess. And then I'm just going to flip it over and blend it. Yeah, that formula is a little bit different. I like that. That's a real orange, it's like a copper tone. I don't think that's going to match my eye look. I don't want to use, oh, I don't want to use gold. Yeah, no, but there's a pink one in here. Oh, that's pretty. I so saw, I'm going to go in with the pink one. This one right here. I was going to use that copper tone, but that's more orange. That's not the look I'm going for today. Once again, I'm just using a dry brush. I'm placing the product exactly where I want it. Yeah, I think that looks good. I'm gonna go in using my finger just to brighten it up a little bit. Yes, yes, I think that's the look I'm going for. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit pause. I'm gonna go do the other eye and I will be right back. Okay, so I did this eye. The one thing that I did notice, I don't know if I told you the last time, but when I applied the uh, shimmer shadow, I just used a eight cosmetic brushes brush. It's like a shader. Actually, it's pretty dense, and I just use it to place the eyeshadow. The other thing that I noticed with uh, the Pat McGrath palette, uh, it does blend out very softly. <laughs> I went in, I forgot to tap off my brush, and I went in pretty heavy with the, the pink up top. So if this side looks a little bit darker than this side, it is what it is. It's a new formula, so it's definitely user error. has nothing to do with the formula. I'm just getting used to it. Yesterday, I did a... A different look in a video that I'm currently editing so that'll be up soon and then I want to do this look since I had time so I did the other eye now I actually want to go in with some eyeliner okay so I'm gonna use the ABH liquid eyeliner I think it's a sample I got I completely forgot that I had this 
So I'm gonna go in using this. This is not working for me. I don't use liquid eyeliner like ever. Okay, so I went in with the ABH liquid eyeliner and I had some spots. Oh, that was a process. I'm not used to liquid eyeliner. Me problem, just not used to it. So I had a couple of spots where I missed. Oh, I'm dropping stuff. So the spots that I missed or I couldn't get, um, I tried to smudge out, it didn't work, it's liquid dried down immediately, which is awesome for this stuff. Good to know. And then I just went in over top with my Milk Makeup Eyeliner. I didn't bring it out. I didn't do any wings. I just gave myself a little extra oomph in my eyelash line. So I'm going to take off my tape. So satisfying. Yes. Other side. Very nice. Just gonna clean this up a little bit. Going in with Neutrogena. Neutrogena. Oh my God. Ask me to pronounce that. I have a hard time. Neutrogena. Neutrogena. I'm using this. Because <laughs> apparently I can't pronounce it. And I'm just cleaning up underneath my lash line. You guys are gonna have to let me know in the comments below if I'm like washed out. I'm really trying to work hard on my settings and my lighting. So I'm still kind of learn, learning how to do all that. So if you guys think I'm washed out, um, just let me know in the comments down below. I'll make sure that I uh, don't do this. I, I feel like I looked washed out on the camera. But if I turn it down, There, I think that looks a little bit better. I don't look so white cast it. Yeah, I think that looks good. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with concealer next. Actually, I'm gonna change it up today. I'm gonna use Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light. I haven't used this one in a while. I have really been loving the Maybelline Stay Active Concealer. I think that one looks really good on me. It's got a slight hint of yellow in it, but it looks good. This one doesn't. Tarte Shape Tape. This is definitely going to brighten up my under eye. And I like to just bring it up into my hairline. So for any like mistakes that are super close, right by my eye right here, it's a little dry. So I like to just blend these out right here. I really like this brush. This is the um, Sigma Concealer F75. And what I really like about the brush is the angle. I know mine's dirty, but the angle of it right here. The angle of the brush, like great for precision, like right there at my inner corner or my outer corner right here. It gets like right in there and I'm able just to make that line if I mess up and I'm able to bring it down to correct the area. I actually think that looks really good. Concealer is all blended out. It looks good. I'm going to do the other eye now. But I find I like going in right here. And right here. A little bit right here. Not too much because I get really oily on my forehead. So I'm kind of just framing my eyebrows. Yes, 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 yes.
All right, now that I have the concealer exactly where I want it, I'm going in with my ColourPop No Filter Setting Spray. Then I'm going to go in with my Dior Powder No Powder. That looks really good. I'm gonna go in with an e.l.f. product. This is an oldie, but a goodie. It's, I don't know if they make it anymore, but it is called Mellow Mauve. And this is what it looks like. It's a very soft, mauve color. right there and now I don't know why but I seem to always do this after I do my blush I place it on where I want I stipple it on then I go in with my it cosmetic brush it's just an angled brush and I just kind of blend it out Perfect. Just a little bit of color. That looks really good. I'm happy with it. And then for highlight, I'm going to go in with Sydney Grace. I'm going to go in with this. This is Sun or Peach Kisses. And then this is just a, a tapered brush from BH Cosmetics. I love these brushes. They've held out for years now. They hold their shape and everything after you wash them. They're great brushes. All right, so now I'm going to go in with Peach Kisses again, and I'm just going to kind of highlight underneath of my eyebrow. Like that. That looks really good. The one thing I like about the Sydney Grace highlight is you can use your fingers and you can just blend it out or shear it out. I guess is really what you're I'm trying to say is you can shear it out. 
and give it that soft look. So it's not like boom in your face. That's why I use my fingers and I just kind of blend it out on my cheeks and it just kind of softens it a little bit. It's not so directly in one area right here. It is definitely in one area, but yeah. And it gives it a soft, subtle appearance. And I like that personally. That's just what I like. I guess the only thing that is really left is lips. And I'm gonna put in some, I'm going to put on some mascara. So then after that, I will come back and I will show you the finished look, okay? Now I'm just gonna take my setting spray and spray my face. Okay guys, so this is today's finished look. Very kind of neutral pink. I did a, a light pink uh, lipstick, uh, mauve blush. And that is it for today. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'm learning to get a little bit more chatty. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. Um, if you guys have any recommendations for me, please don't hesitate, leave it down in the description. Anything I can do to help you guys uh, enjoy this content better. So that is it. Thank you so much for watching and until next video. Bye guys.